Today is the 15th of December, 2023. But for this story, I think we should begin right at the beginning. Lee and Laura. Growing up in a small town in England, we spent our whole childhood living just a few streets away from each other without even realizing. Fast forward to 2014 where we meet at a party, and I guess you say the rest is history. Traveling around the world, making memories and doing crazy experiences together. And that brings us to today. Next year, we would have been together 10 years. That means a lot of people are going to be expecting a proposal, which is why it's the perfect time to propose beforehand, catch everyone off guard. But there's a lot of things that could go wrong. The ring doesn't fit, she doesn't like the ring, she says no, I mean, that'd be pretty wild, would make for a bit of a depressing video. Or her parents don't give me her a blessing, again, I'm going to back my chances there, being together nine years, but I guess you never know. But first things first, we need to go get a ring. So I'm off to London. Uh, medium uh, skinny latte, please. Thank Cheers, thank you. Whilst waiting for the train, I thought to myself, this is going to be the perfect time to stare out the window like I'm in a movie. Because although I've done this journey a hundred times before, this time it felt different. Wow, that was deep. Honestly, I feel like the biggest thing I'm worried about is the ring fitting because I'm asking her in Costa Rica and we're going to be away for so many months that if it doesn't fit, it'll be a long time before we can get it resized. So, fingers crossed. I do know her size, but I guess you never know, do you? But I'm about to meet someone because I'm not doing this on my own. I've enlisted the help of a friend to come and help me make this big purchase. Excuse me, do you know a thing or two about buying a ring? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. I have an appointment. Yeah, come in. Yeah, I'm just following. He's right. my um, chaperone. Say okay, so where are we starting? Well, well, where, where do we begin, I guess? <laughs> where do we begin? Okay, so shape of stone? Um, oh, they have an appointment, Steve. Just, I wasn't in yesterday, that's all. Yeah, so, yeah. okay, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, I've got an appointment at 11. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is, this, this is it. Right? We're at. We're here. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Stone? Or is it more to fit a price? Boy? Probably to fit a price. Yeah. Okay. Which is? Um, probably looking at around like overall. Okay. Overall for everything. Okay. So all diamonds have a colouring. D is the best. Z is the worst. Okay. Okay. Other than the shape of the stone, it's colour you're going to see first of all. Mm -hmm. Anywhere from SI two upwards to your naked eye. It's all going to look nice and clean, mm -hmm. okay? But the higher you go in clarity, the higher the price will go. I see. Okay? Sounds, sounds it's, good. It's very yeah. simple. Yeah. If yeah. I can do it, anyone can do oh, it. Oh, yeah. When are you doing it? Um, next month. <laughs> yeah. Excited? So, yeah, nervous, but... The way it looks, you know, it looks like nice and... Do you know what her finger size is? Uh, M, M and a half. M and a half. How so, did you get that? Ages ago. Oh, so bad. Well, the yeah. thing is, we've been together for quite a while, and obviously she's made a lot of jokes like, oh, when are you going to propose that kind of thing? And I've just said like, oh, well, I don't even know your ring size. So then one day, years she ago, with it, yeah, well, okay. years ago, we just said, well, let's just go get it size. Just so. Class. Fair enough. So this is a round cut, you said? Yeah, round brilliant cuts. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get the most sparkle than any other shape of stone. Proposing to me, Lee, you'd come correct with that one. Yeah. <laughs> thing is, I'm, I'm indecisive at the best of times, so. <laughs> Look, the best advice I can give you is, as I say, you know her best, but don't overthink it. Over. I've got this one. You are in a race with someone else. <laughs> he, was, he was in a few minutes before you. Luck of the draw. Yeah, I think that's, I'm happy with that. Yeah? It looks really nice, uh, mate. You know, she, when she opens that, that looks good. I knew it was right to bring you along. Well, the biggest purchase of my life is complete. Hopefully being delivered in a few weeks, but I was there for about an hour. I was very indecisive. Luckily, I had my man Andrew with me to help me with some key questions. We thought it was time to celebrate. It was Christmas time in London after all. Okay, so a quick little recap of London for you. It went well. It went very, very well. A ring has been purchased. The man in the jewellers was very helpful. He taught me all about the four C's of buying an engagement ring because obviously I had no clue. Cut, colour, clarity and carrot. 
Not sure if it's in that order. But I've chosen the diamond and I've chosen the band and how it's all going to look. So it's still being made up this week and it's going to be shipped to my mum's house where hopefully Laura doesn't notice. But a huge update. We've just received the blessing from Laura's mum and dad this morning. I went over whilst Laura wasn't there and it was emotional, but I'm glad it's over. Glad I've got the blessing. And now all that's left is to ask her the big question in Costa Rica. Hopefully she doesn't find the ring beforehand. Hopefully she says yes. Wish me luck. Packing is the longest thing in the world, I tell you. But we do have... Would you like to take a look? Well, you'll have to wait until the end of the video. But for now, this will go in a safe place where Loz cannot find it. Our first few days in Costa Rica were amazing, but obviously I had one thing on my mind. Where was I going to propose? I found the most beautiful beach with this hanging palm tree. It looked perfect. So I told Laura we was going to head there to take some photos. And well... I didn't do it. There were so many people around and honestly I was gutted. But I knew Laura would have preferred it to be just us. That was a nice beach. Minus all the people. So, it was back to the drawing board. More days went by and our time in Costa Rica was nearly coming to an end. Until... We've made it to Uvita and we're wasting no time at all because we are off to the beach for sunset. It's a bit cloudy, so hopefully we actually see the sunset. Yeah, I think we will absolutely stunning like you've got the palm trees behind both of the beaches and you've got the mountains with like the clouds on top this is just what costa rica is you know nine years together 23 countries visited Countless memories made. It had all led to this moment. I haven't been crying, I promise. <laughs> the ring fit. It's perfect size. It's beautiful. I honestly did not expect this in the slightest. I'm shaking. Shima shima. I was gonna do it at that other beach. What? Where with the palm tree and uh, uh, Puerto Echo. Yeah. And we were taking, well, taking photos, and you even said to me, it looks like an engagement shoot. <laughs> so afterwards, I, I was did. like, that oh, was it would have been the perfect spot, well, but there were so many people. Now. Yeah. Shiba! With my watch. I honestly am in shock. You're going to be my wife. And look at this beautiful sunset now. 
guys, I'm in shock. This is just crazy. Woke up a single lady. Now nah, I'm a fiance. Morning. You all right? Yeah, right? yeah. tired. I know. Yeah, you're up early. I couldn't sleep. Looking very beautiful. You as a couple. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, Thank you. Look at you. Oh, you're glowing, both of you. Surprise! <laughs> 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 Surprise! <laughs> yeah. Got got something to tell you. Got some news. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh. Got you see it? Then. Yeah. Yes, I can see it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's lovely. <laughs>